This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and the lock I have for you today is a Draper Expert 82mm shutter lock. Now, for those of you who are familiar with the Draper Expert line of locks, you know that they tend to be a little bit on the pricier side. I have featured a few of them on my channel before from viewers who sent them my way, and my impression is that they are very, very nice locks. They just don't represent a great security value. In any case, I found this one on eBay for a very, very good price. So I picked it up and we are going to see what it takes to get into this lock. We're going to use top of the keyway tension with a 40 thousandths pry bar and this standard hook from Peterson in 18 thousandths. Okay, one's loose. Click at a two, click at a three, Click at a four, little something out of five. Click at a six, back to one. Might have got something there, nothing on two, nothing on three, four. Click at a five, click at a six, back to one. Okay, got a little bit of movement on the core when I hit one. Nothing on two. Three. Getting some feedback there. And we lost our false set. Let's just keep going. Four, five, okay, six put us back into the false set. I think I still feel some feedback on six. Yep, definitely getting some counter rotation out of him. And that's all it took. The lock's open. Okay, let's take this lock apart and we will see what's inside. To get this lock apart, there is an Allen screw that's right down this hole right there. And you don't have to take it completely out, you just have to loosen it a bit until, there we go, until the retainer plate and security nut come out. Okay, let's see what it takes to get into this core. It looks like we have a little C-clip on it. Okay, got that off. Now we just need the key and a follower. Okay, we can see it's a six pin core. Looks like we've got some counter milling and I think I saw an anti-drill pin in slot one. Let's dump these out, see what we can find out. We have a serrated anti-drill pin in one, standard brass in two, standard brass in three, serrated brass in four, serrated brass in five, and standard in six. Okay, let me get my tweezers and arrange these. Okay, let's see what the driver pins look like. Okay, looks like we have a standard steel pin in one, anti-bump pin in two, spool in three, spool in four, same in five, and same in six. Okay, let me give you a close-up of all of this. Okay, looking at these pins. Key pins first. Looks like we have a serrated steel in number one, and we have standard pins in slots two, three, and six. I'm assuming they would have serrations on them if they were a little bit longer, so the only reason we have standard pins there is because of the bidding. Then of course we have serrated pins in slots four and five. Moving up to the driver pins, we have a standard steel anti-drill pin in slot one, a anti-bump pin in slot two, and then spools in slots three through six. Moving over to the core, 
you can see that it is not as a, of a bypassable design though um, this is a dead core lock key retaining so that wouldn't be an option anyway and we do have counter milling there on all six chambers so a nice core definitely a nice lock overall though um, you really need to find it at a good price otherwise I'm just not sure it's worth the money in any case that's all I have for you on this Draper Expert 82 millimeter shutter lock if you have any questions or comments about it please put them below if you like this video and would like to see more like it please subscribe and as always have a nice day thank you